In this video, we provide the solution to question 21 for the practice final exam for Math 1050. We're given the function f of x equals 4x minus 2 over 3x plus 1, um, which is a one-to-one -one function, by the way, and we have to compute its inverse function. So starting off with f of x here, we're going to actually use the variable y here because the inverse function switches the roles of x and y, so I want to be very explicit on who's x and who's y. So this gives us y. This is the equation that produces the graph of f. To get f inverse, right, we swap the x and y around, so we get x equals 4y minus 2 over 3y plus 1. We now want to solve for y. So times both sides of the equation by 3y plus 1. 3y plus 1. Uh, that way it cancels out on the left, on the right hand side, giving us x times 3y plus 1. Um, I actually want to distribute this. So we end up with 3xy plus x. This on the right hand side would then be equal to 4y minus 2. Uh, we then want to solve for the y here. We want to combine the y's. So move the 4y to the left hand side, move the non y, the x, to the other side. So we get 3xy minus 4y. Notice here, that's the left-hand side. It, since everything's divisible by y, you can actually factor out the y, giving you 3x minus 4. This is going to equal the right-hand side, which is a negative x minus 2. Um, so then divide both sides by the 3x minus 4. 3x minus 4. And then this would then give us y equals, well, this is actually f inverse now, label specifically who f inverse is. Don't leave it up to guessing. You're going to end up with negative x minus 2 over 3x minus 4, like so. And this is then the inverse function that we've just calculated. 